What's up, everybody? I'm the Burning Sky Cloud, and welcome back to the Call of Karen. Free bacon, everybody. Whee! All right, so I'm on day four of eight. I don't know exactly what's going to be happening once uh, I make it to day eight. Karen will probably lose her mind. I do not know. This is just repetition. I'm mostly just doing a repeat of every single day. Breakfast, lunch, uh, day after morning, afternoon, dinner. bacon going. Let's see if I can't speed things along. Get off the pan. Wait, do I have salt? I should have salt, right? Yeah. Jamming out to the music. Woohoo! Get out of there. Get over here, Miss, Mrs. Pepper. Oh, Mr. Sutton, Mrs. Pepper. Loose Clues reference right there. Francis, are you there? Yeah, Timmy's dad is driving me to school. Screw oh, Timmy. I can drive you. Timmy's mom says that women shouldn't drive. Bye, honey. Well, screw Timmy's mom. What good has she ever done for us? Strange. My silver bullet shouldn't arrive until tomorrow. Keep an eye on the vacuum? Okay. Oh boy, from Susan. What did she have to say this time? I saw your lawn was looking more drab than usual, and I thought, there's a gal who has Elder's Demons in her home. Here's a book that might help. Wow, isn't that just so thoughtful of her? I know, right? Oh. What happened to our vacuum? Oh, wrong button. Gosh darn it, I keep clicking, yeah, that's clicking. Looking like I was expanding it more than I was, uh... Okay. That's... actually useful? Oh, I have to write her a nice thank you letter now, don't I? We don't have to. Throw a pencil with the paper and see what ideas flow. Make sure to fold it nice and neat so Susan doesn't have anything to say about that too. 
Which paper? Oh, this one? Why is it I'm never... Yeah, why is it I'm never... Like, I'm over the piece of paper. Why does the pencil keep rolling off? Okay, seriously. It means so much to me that you reached out, especially with your extraordinarily busy schedule. I'll be sure to send over some fresh brownies when I get the chance. I'll make them extra overcooked just for you. Yeah, we don't like Susan. She's a meanie. Where did my piece of paper go? What? Did it fucking glitch to the floor? Oh my god, don't tell me I... It means so much to me that you reached out, especially with your extraordinarily busy schedule. I'll be sure to send over some fresh brownies when I get the chance. I'll make them extra overcooked just for you. Alright, yay, there we go. Did it. What? And now, a public service announcement from your local neighborhood watch. Over at your neighbors for dinner, keep an eye out for strange happenings. A dysfunctional dinner is the first sign of an unhappy home, and a potential threat to your community. Oh, Charles, I don't need you calling me out, too. Uh... Huh? What? Where the fuck is my meatloaf? Maybe some holy water from the closet? Get over here, bitch! I have to hold the water. Get the fuck back here. I can't catch it. You're moving too fast. Other meat though. I don't feel safe with this thing. Where the fuck are you, you bitch? Where did my meat enough go? Oh, <laughs> 
there. Now, where is the holy water? I'll be right back for you, you bitch. Oh, I didn't know I had holy water in here. Yeah, that's right. Spirit be gone from inside. Now don't try becoming a demon possessed meatloaf again. Good. Oh, goody. It's not spinning around like some crazy fool. Get up on the table. Ah. Dinner's ready. Nobody cares. I'm working on my novel. Screw your novel. I'm sorting my trading cards. Screw your trading cards. Are you an unhappy housewife in your house life? Yes. Maybe so, Charles. Maybe so. Then stay tuned. We've got ten appliances that will make you the perfect house spouse. And they're so easy, we're sure even you ladies will be able to figure it out. And ten more reasons for Susan to brag about how rich she is at the next PTA meeting. Appliance one. A safe lined with iron to keep the manuscripts describing all the horrors you've seen. And five down is Cthulhu for Tardy Reader. Those are the answers to yesterday's crossword. Hope you had fun playing along with us. Strange words this time. What is that, Mr. <laughs> Wayne? Darn, I thought it was Cthulhu Patagon Arlier. So close. Oh, there goes her step again. this time. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it there. Water still out here. Should I be concerned about that? All right, well, I have a plate that won't fly anywhere. I'm afraid of picking it up because it will probably fly. Oh, never mind. Wasting a whole lot of salt and pepper. Yay! 
Hey! Be sure to be safe out there, Francis. There's been strange news lately. I'll be fine, Mom. Timmy's dad is picking me up from school, and Timmy's mom is gonna make me brownies after. Honey, have you noticed anything odd lately? Come to think of it, your meatloaf was a little dry yesterday. It's alright, I'll pick up pizza tonight. I love pizza, but, uh... Wow, these guys are jerks. Oh, perfect, my bullets are here. Now, I might not have a gun. And most sources say you need a gun to use bullets. But, most sources aren't losing their mind trying to be a good wife and mother while demons are in their house. So I'll be taking some liberties. My bullets are here. Right click while holding them to zoop up your vacuum. Then throw them away for a rainy day. Okay. Now this is what I'm talking about. I don't know when I'll need it, but better safe than sorry. Yeah, well, wait, why do we need bullets? Oh, that's brilliant! Bullets inside a vacuum! We're gonna be the. broadcast is brought to you by the stars are right your number one guide to the stars being right also providing services like seeing if the stars are right and making sure that the only ones to send upon the world broadcast what do you mean they're not a sponsor the stars are right the stars are right it's right here the stars are right the stars are right the stars are right radio man's having some uh, issues. He's having a really bad day. No, no, it's fine. I told you, I'm just going to share the joyous news that, that the, the old ones are returning, and, and they're turning their boat to the second city of Rokia, yeah. and that Calamari is on sale at Gigamart today, 50% off! Oh, we're on air now? <laughs> Hello, everyone! Calamari is on sale at Gigamart today! Add a bit of extra kick to your morning smoothie with some tasty sea life! Delicious! Actually, that doesn't sound delicious at all. Well, anyhow, it's a Saturday. Time to kick back and relax after a long, hard week of work providing for your families. And hey, maybe your wives can take a break, too. Alright. Oh. Just gonna... See that there. Getting the bacon's gonna be hard. Eggs are gonna be especially harder. Why won't anything stop? Give me my bacon. Give me my bacon, you bitch. There, got one. Does it not matter? I need to put it on a plate somehow. Okay. You stay there. I got other bacons to grab. Now, at this point... Ooh, that hand's jumpy. Okay. 
Get off my bacon, please. Now I just gotta find out where that plate went. What the hell? Where's the plate that had my bacon? Can't put it on the plate here. Alright, yeah. Uh, no, no, it won't. It won't stick. Yeah, you know, come to think of it, I only see two plates now. Okay, you know what? You're becoming a real pain in my ass. Stay. What happened to my other plate? Damn egg on the plate. Ah, there we go. Fucking really? I'm gonna play okay. poker with the guys. I'll be back late. Really? Timmy found a weird bat lizard by the creek. We're gonna go poke it with a stick. Hey, don't. Karen gets no respect. Susan should pay more attention to her kid. Yeah, because Francis. Uh, doesn't care about whether he gets paid attention to or not. Looks like Francis picked up his trading cards for once, but of course they're still cleaning to be done. Get that vacuum and fire away. It looks like these bullets are going to come in handy after all. I'm sick of this Eldritch nonsense. You don't think the Soviets have anything to do with this, do you? It doesn't really matter, I suppose. We'll all be vaporized to dust one way or the other. Do you believe that we will rejoin the stars? I thought you were interviewing me about my ceramic business. <laughs> Indeed I was. You'll never believe it, folks. This man makes a deep sea dining sense. Get a plate shaped like an octopus for only $19.99. Yes, I... Perfect for all occasions, like serving that 50% off calamari or celebrating the return of... <laughs> the, the octopus bad human lord of the deep sea. <laughs> what? I suppose you can use my plates for that. Yes. And fire away. All right. Are y'all gonna behave? Gotcha. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay.
I think the radio man's possessed. Okay. This has gone on long enough. Yeah, I'm talking to you. I'm sick of all this. It's hard enough to do all the work around here, and I don't need you making it worse for me. I've spent my whole life cleaning up other people's messes, and I'm not dealing with yours, too. I'm ending this, once and for all. Yeah, you tell them, Karen. Uh, we've been having Cthulhu. Alright, Cthulhu, let's end this. Still vacuuming closet. Oh, damn! Nice, son! Take it outside. Vacuum time. Hey, you big ugly slob! Catch! Cause, okay, cause Cthulhu was in our front yard. I have no idea. A beautiful day in American paradise. A lovely country with a lovely radio station host that may have just been put on sick leave for a month because of erratic behavior. <laughs> Strangely, I feel much better. But I'm not going to turn down a free vacation. In any case, sayonara, America. I'll see you again once I'm done sipping pina coladas in Bermuda. Well, that takes care of that. Yeah. Okay, so... Apparently we are has been possessed by Cthulhu. We actually defeated Cthulhu. Maybe, I don't know. This game's confusing. Okay, so I got my salt. I got my, uh... Utensils and last time, uh, wait, isn't this a vacuum? Wow, a, ba a barren uh, wasteland. Okay, uh, we got our vacuum, so yeah, we def we we beat Cthulhu. Oh, that's new. Honey, I'm off to work. Oh, and when I get home, I want to talk to you. Frankly, the house has been a mess this week. Susan's mentioned that she's seen all sorts of things through the windows, and you're not really making this a structured environment for Francis. We both know that you need to clean more, but I want to find a solution that works for you. Happy wife, happy life, right? Happy... Uh, happy home, happy Is something. that so? Happy home. Listeners and patriots and lovers, watch out. There is a new kind of evil about both family men and always on their own. Don't let the octopus into your home. When you find that life has got you down, take a moment and just look around. All your neighbors are doing much better than you.
caption is the thing we all fear. Whispers and screams, let us know he is near. If you feel somehow that you're not alone, you know the octopus is in your home. When you find your house covered in slime. Yeah, oh, okay, this is an interesting uh, song. Special thanks to all the people who helped make Call of Care possible. Oh, very nice. This is all the credits. Tidy up quick, nobody can know. Your one goal, maintain the status quo. What would Susan okay, so, um. Your house like this? Clean up after your friend from the abyss. Okay, so this game was, uh, something. I'll say, uh, it was really buggy. Is this song going to keep going on forever until I quit? But yeah, uh, like I said, this game was really buggy. Shut up, Cthulhu. Yeah, because, like, I, I lost a piece of paper at one point. And the and salt kept I, I the salt and the utensils kept uh, vanishing. So you know, I would say try and fix that. Try and make the game a little less glitchy, please. Uh. I can I can understand how Cameron feels because you know, I I'm someone who is behind the mindset of a person and tries to understand you know basically understands what they're going through and for Karen you know she puts up with a lot but gets like absolutely no gratitude Susan and Susan needs to mind her own business. So like is uh was Karen is Karen the only person who was able to see Cthulhu and all the strange stuff going on in that house? Maybe it's all in her mind. Maybe maybe it's a or maybe she ended up having a psychotic break. Just ended up being weird to the point where Susan managed to see. I don't know. There's a lot that can be read into this game. Uh, but anyway. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Uh, I kind of ended the, the last episode a little prematurely, not knowing that this was going to be the end. So I ended up having to combine the two, last two, so... If you enjoyed this ep this uh, game, please like, comment, and share, and don't forget to subscribe to see more in the future. I'll catch you later. Or in Cthulhu's words, <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs>